NASA is developing a lunar lander capability because it is the next step to understanding the lunar environment. Currently we have orbiters in space and we also have two more orbiters planned for 2011, so it is NASA's next big milestone. If you can imagine trying to control uh, the uh, descent speed so that we make a soft landing without damaging the uh, science payload, which is the important thing, it's, uh, it's not easy at all. And you have to account for surface terrain, which includes uh, potentially very large moon rocks. Um, so it's, uh, there's a lot of unique challenges to be taken into account. These tests are important because they demonstrate our capability to do something that we haven't done in a very long time, which is land on the moon. We can do simulations and, and we can do math models, but there's no real substitute for actually physically demonstrating a capability and making it tangible to, uh, to build confidence. The test article consists of a series of high pressure uh, air tanks that we use as our fuel and the control algorithms and a carbon fiber composite structure. The vehicle is armed at this time. All personnel are clear of the area. You have the test. Okay, we got your arm. Stand by. This series of tests actually uh, is free flying of the test bed, which means that it's autonomously flying around under its own power and we're monitoring telemetry. Uh, this demonstrates its capability to, to descend and land on its own and control its own orientation. Fire in three, two, 